Uh oh, oh, it's processing. Hey guys, what's going on? Hope you're having a great day today and welcome to a new band of it. About 8 months ago I made a video titled I tried taking photos with a 13 year old camera, Pentax K100 is super. And in that video I tested this camera to see if I can get good photos with it, even though at the time it was 40, 13 years old. To my surprise, that video did pretty well, considering it's my most watched video ever. So since you guys liked that video, I decided today I'm going to test it again. But today, instead of doing it during the daytime where there's light, and in my opinion, as long as you have nice lighting, it's hard to get better photos, I'm going to test it during nighttime to see if I can get good astrophotography shots with it. and it's going to be a good one although it's pretty late it's already like 11 30 p.m. Here it's literally pitch black, which is pretty amazing because we're seeing a lot of stars obviously. I think we're just going to walk a bit, find a spot, and then we'll start testing the Pentax K100 Super to see if it can take good astrophotography shots. start testing the Pentax to see if it can get astrophotography shots. There's a little hill over here and I want to send Nadav to the top of it and get a nice shot of him with the Sony because I'd like to try that before I start getting um, immersed in like testing the Pentax. So we're gonna do that and then we're going to start testing. I'm not sure how that shot turned out, so we're just going to start the testing and see if the Pentax K100 D Super can take good astrophotography shots. I'm not really sure about it because, you know, it's going to be difficult. Not of, please stop it, you son of a bitch. Um, uh, fuck you, stop, come on. I'm trying to record. Um, I'm going to try and test it and hopefully we'll be able to get some nice shots. Although there is a little bit of light pollution here. So we'll see what happens. Oh, got the Pentax. Let's go. This is the Pentax K100 D Super. It came back way in 2007. It got a 6.1 megapixel sensor. And today we're going to test if it can take astrophotography shots. Now, if you don't know anything about astrophotography, the main issue is focusing and getting the right composition because the... Um, I forgot the word. <laughs> the easy part is getting the exposure right. I mean, you just need to set your camera to around 15 to 25 seconds exposure and then your widest lens with your wider, widest aperture and then ISO just like use it according to the shot, according to how bright you want your shot to be. And the main challenge is going to be focusing with this camera because 
you need to switch your manual focus, obviously, and sometimes you need to focus to infinity, sometimes you need to focus to something close to you. So it's going to be a bit difficult to see how it works, but I'm really positive about this camera. Last time it surprised me, hopefully this time it's going to surprise me again, and hopefully we'll be able to get some really good astrophotography shots, because, you know, that's why we came here. So I think I'm just going to set it up and we'll continue from there. Okay, I'm going to switch to manual. Um, let's set it to infinity at first and see what happens. Oh, oh, it's processing. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, that's a terrible shot. You can't see anything. Oh, God. <laughs> um, I really need to find a way to change the ISO because I'm not sure what's the ISO. Okay, I found how to change the ISO. I'm going to change it to... I think 1600 because I'm not sure it would be able to handle the super high ISO of 3200. <laughs> now let's give it another go. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh my god, there was a shooting star. Let's go. Okay, you can see some stars, although it's for some reason overexposed and super grainy so I'm going to try to point it up because like, it didn't work let's give it another go okay okay turn off the light for a sec like make it go away come on okay yeah you can take some astrophotography shots which is very interesting uh, I'm not sure if you can see it on camera but we can see some stars the colors are a bit off, but okay, you can definitely do that. That's interesting. All right, so what I found out is that you can take astrophotography shots with a Pentax K100D Super. It's just not very good at it. It's not surprising at all. Like, if I point the camera up where there's no light pollution at all, it gets some decent shots, but once I try to point it to another location to get some more in an interesting composition, where the, there's even a little bit of light pollution, the photo just gets blown out immediately and it's already super noisy, so... To answer the question if the Pentax K100 is super can take astrophotography shots, yes, it can, would I recommend it? Not really, I would use literally any other camera that came out during the last 13 years. So, yeah, it can do it, I wouldn't recommend doing it, and now I think we're just going to switch to using the Sony and Nikon to get some real astrophotography shots, so let's go. Ow. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> it's really bright. location we didn't get anything crazy except one shot of me standing with a fucking meteorite in the background and that's one of the craziest shots I've ever gotten so that's nice we're going to change the composition a bit and the location a bit because we want to try different compositions so I think we're just going to have one final session and then we're going to head back Okay, that's cool. We managed 
managed to get some really nice shots and I'm really happy about that. I think the ones where I stood on that cliff over there were really good. So we did manage to get some nice things. We're going to head back now. We're going, just going to do a little family photo to remember this event and then we're going to head back home. walking around and suddenly we see this shit which is like a wrecked car, a wrecked old car thing with some leftovers so <laughs> that's really creepy but also interesting Yeah, the fucking sunrise, it's just so fucking beautiful. I just like, I love sunrise colors. It's just so much better. Especially now that we came back from the army and he's pretty busy when he's there. So yeah, the sleep, my mom is driving, I'm literally pumping with energy. And yeah, anything to say mom, you wanted to say something. It was a great night, I'm happy to have such a cool family and be bad finished up in this camera and like you saw it can take some astrophotography shots which is pretty amazing in my opinion because it's a fucking 14 year old crop camera and the photos aren't good in any way but the fact that you, you like that this camera still works after 14 years and you can still get some shots with it it's really amazing in my opinion and something even more amazing in my, in my opinion is how much the industry evolved in the last 14 years because if you would have told someone in 2007 that you'd be able to use 128,000 ISO in your photos and the photos would still be usable, they would have told you, man, you're crazy, what are you talking about? There's no way you can do that. And today, I can literally do that. Some of the shots you saw were shot using the, that ISO. So that's amazing in my opinion and I'm super grateful that the camera industry has evolved so much because it just makes my life as a photographer and content creator so much easier. Otherwise, I'm not really sure what I think about the photos that we got today because I really like some of them but I also missed focus in a lot of them so it's kind of a mix but this one was more for the experience tank and less for the photography and videography whatever <laughs> so it was a nice one I hope that you enjoyed this vlog even though most of it was super dark and you couldn't see a lot but I tried to make it the best I can 
So yeah, I don't have any other things to say, I'm running out of ideas, I'm just going to go to some self plug So if you're already following me or subscribe to me, you can leave. And if you're not, head over to Instagram right now and follow me at Daniel underscore Ben underscore David. It's an awesome Instagram page, I upload a lot of cool stuff I don't always upload to YouTube. Live updates, Q&As, some reels, photos that I can vlog on and much more. If you're not following me already, come on guys, what are you doing? Go and do it right now. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell. I really appreciate it, but at the end of the day, it's your choice to do whatever you want to do. And remember, everyone's got a story, gonna tell you. Yeah! Okay.